Blender geometry nodes doesn't have a clean way to join two basic curves end to end at the moment, so let's make a quick setup to do that. Splines have a bunch more attributes than a mesh. In addition to the position of the points, there are also two handles position to consider for basic curve, along with the tilt and radius attributes. So if you convert your curves to a mesh, and then merge by distance, and convert it back to a curve, you will lose all that information. The whole setup I will make here is very simple and quite handy, so let's get to it. First I will create a bunch of basic curves to weld end to end. And put them on the collection on the side. The idea here will be to create a new curve with as many points as all our curves combined and then to copy all our base attributes I listed before from our source curve to our new curve. On the default cube, at the geometry node setup, I am renaming it Merge Curves and drag in your collection of curves, set to Relative. If you hide your collection, you should now see all your curves inside the curve object. To work with those curves, we need to separate their data from the source collection, which you can do by realizing the instances. Now let's create the curve that will become the welded version of all our curves. Add a simple curve line. To set the number of points, I use the resample node. And we can get the total number of points from the source collections with the domain size node set to curve. And because our curves are Bezier, let's set the sprint type of this one to Bezier also. If there are multiple splines in a geometry data flow, like here from your realized curve or from join node, the order of the splines is kept and each points are properly indexed from the start of the first curve to the end of the last one. That way it's quite easy to map all that data to our new curve. So to copy the attributes from our source curve, add a sample index node first set to vector. Plug in the geometry from the collection and an index node. To set the position of the points, we need to add a position info node and a set position node. And we can already see the effect of this node. For the busy handles, you can duplicate this node two times with Ctrl Shift D and add a curve handle position to get the attributes on one side and set handle position on the other side. Set everything to left and right appropriately, patch everything and our curves are already visually welded together. The final attributes to copy are tilt and radius, which are of type float, and we can set them with set curve tilt and set curve radius node. At this point, the setup is pretty much complete and you can see how well it works. We can clean up a bit the unused inputs with Ctrl H and group everything after the realized instance node into a node group which I am calling splines to curves. Set the input and output names and that's for the most complex case with the Bezier curve. However, in case we want to weld non-Bezier curves, we need to skip a few steps. Add a switch node set to geometry to bypass the set spline type node. And another one to bypass the set handles position nodes. And for the boolean, I add a parameter to activate it if we are working with basic curves. We can also extract this boolean at the modifier level, as well as the collection info to be more flexible. Just remove the default value of the collection, so the collection itself won't be imported if you use the node group. Finally, we can mark everything as assets for easier use later. Just right click on the shield and mark as assets. 
And that's it for this setup. Hope that was useful and see you next time.